we have two main categories of the gastric adenocarcinoma. The first one is the intestinal type of adenocarcinoma, uh, which creates glandular, tubular, or papillary structures. And the second one is poorly cohesive gastric adenocarcinoma, also called diffuse adenocarcinoma. And this is an example of the stomach being infiltrated by the poorly cohesive gastric adenocarcinoma. The discohesive cells can have plasmacytoid, histiocytic eosinophilic, or signet ring cell appearance. Because this type of adenocarcinoma does not create glands, it's sometimes really easy to miss it, especially in the small superficial partial biopsies. Here we have the surface of the gastric foveoli. Here we have some antral glands. And in between the cells, there is malignant infiltration. Most of these cells resemble histiocyte. So this is an example of a histiocytic variant of the poorly cohesive gastric adenocarcinoma, which is not really important for the patient. The cells have a quite voluminous clear cytoplasm filled with mucin. And we can also find a few typical signet ring cells. This is an example of the signet ring cell. It has typical intracytoplasmic mucinous vacuole and the nucleus is pushed to one side of the cell. Therefore it resembles signet ring. Because of the mucin cytoplasmic content, all of these cells would be strongly positive for PAS stain, which is sometimes quite useful. So here we have the mucosa infiltrated by the tumor. This is the lamina propria. And here we are in the submucosa. And uh, on a higher magnification, we can see that these malignant cells are also here. So this is the infiltration of the submucosa by the diffusely cohesive carcinoma. Sometimes it is quite useful to use immunohistochemistry because these cells could be quite inconspicuous and sometimes we are quite surprised to see that it goes much deeper than we originally thought. This is another case stained by PAS stain. So all these malignant cells are clearly visible with a PAS positive mucin content in their cytoplasm and uh, we can see that they infiltrate, uh, that they infiltrate the lamina muscularis propria. Thanks for watching.